Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, we're gonna talk about my 2016 skincare favorites. And as with my beauty favorites, these are products that I loved and used throughout 2016. They're not necessarily products that just launched in 2016. I'm going to start with products in order of application. So first we'll go ahead and start with cleansers, toner, serums, moisturizers, um, maybe some masks here, and then we'll end it with oils. My first skincare favorite is the Nude Perfect Cleanse. This is their clarifying cleansing oil. It contains omegas 3, 5, 6, and 9 passion fruit and Kalari melon. And this is what she looks like. I use this on days where I wear heavy, heavy makeup. This is a great pre-cleanse. So it should help to remove your makeup. And I really, really like this because it doesn't burn or irritate my eyes when I do um, apply the product onto the eyes to remove the eye makeup. After you remove it, it does give you that clean feel to the skin. Even after I cleanse with this, I like to go in with my Murad Refreshing Cleanser. I've definitely used this little guy up. Actually, it's kind of huge. I love this. This is one of my favorite, favorite cleansers. It cleanses the skin without stripping it of its essential oils. So when you clean, you're not going to have that tight skin feel. Um, this is great. I love the scent. It's super fresh and light. It's not overwhelming. All of the scents here are all natural. So it doesn't contain any perfume. Something I do like about Murad is that they do not test on animals as well. Sometimes I like to use this with my hands or I'll go in and apply this cleanser onto my Clarisonic brush and then I'll just kind of work it onto the skin. I like using this morning and evening as well. Another cleanser favorite that I do have is the Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. I like to use this when I want to exfoliate my skin without using a mechanical exfoliant. Um, so this is a chemical exfoliant where it's not going to scratch the surface of the skin. Because I do have normal skin, I only use this about once to twice a week. And I like this cleanser because, again, it is a chemical exfoliant, but it does not leave the skin feeling tight and dry after cleansing. With this cleanser, you do need the tiniest amount. Maybe about a pearl size drop will do the job that you want. I wouldn't use this as a makeup remover. I mean, you certainly can. But I do like to, you know, when I use this cleanser, I do like to go in with the Murad first. And then I like to go in with, you know, any exfoliating cleanser. For toner, we're going to talk about my favorite toner of all time. This is the Murad Hydrating Toner. Um, I've been using this for years and years. It really does help to lock in moisture. It really softens up the skin. It keeps the hydration levels to a max. And I do like the fact that this does not have any alcohol in it so it's not going to dry your skin. I also like this toner because you can just mist it all over the face without having to use a cotton ball or a cotton round so it's safe enough for the eye area and I love the scent. It's so refreshing. I use this after cleansing morning and evening and no matter you know the season say it's spring or you know the hot summer here in California this works beautifully. For serum, we're going to talk about the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. She looks like that. I really like to go in with this serum during the day when I'm feeling a little bit dry. Now, I don't have dry skin. I do have normal skin, but say, for example, I go in with a heavy exfoliant the night before. I do like to go in with this serum just to give the skin a more radiant, luminous look. And all you need is one pump of this for the entire face and neck. It does have kind of a little bit of a jelly consistency, so if it doesn't absorb too quickly onto the skin, I do like to work it in and tap it into the skin. Another one of my favorite serums is the Murad Advanced Acne and Wrinkle Reducer. This is part of their anti-aging acne line, and she looks like this. 
I really like to go in with this serum when I feel a breakout coming on or when I'm about to start or when I'm on my cycle. It really helps to minimize the severity of any future breakouts that I may have or any breakouts that I'm currently experiencing. This does have salicylic acid in there and retinol. The salicylic acid will treat the acne and the retinol will help to smooth and improve the uh, texture of the skin. For a nighttime serum, I loved the Murad Complete Reform with Glyco Firming Complex. She looks like that. This does have glycolic acid in there, so sometimes when I was experiencing a little bit of dryness, I would feel it tingle a little bit, um, but when my skin was more on the normal side, I wouldn't feel a tingle at all. It helps to resurface and repair the skin. Anytime I would use this serum, I would wake up with firmer and more refined skin. Eye creams go. I don't have any full-size products just because I've been redeeming points at Sephora and I get this little guy at work all the time when we have trainings. For an eye cream, I have the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Power Eye Cream. Now I first used this as a Sephora Beauty Point perk. I have no idea what they call that. But I did redeem some points and I used this and I fell in love with it. And how I have this fresh deluxe eye sample is I bought one of those Best of Sephora Beauty Favorite Boxes and this little guy came in it. Um, I like to use this morning or evening. I feel like it really helps to minimize fine lines and firm. This is the Murad Renewing Eye Cream. I always get these at work when we have training and they give us uh, little like mini deluxe size samples. So I've never had to purchase the full size. I love this stuff. This helps to plump and firm and diffuse any dark under eye circles. I love this. I use this on myself and I use this on my clients at work. I feel like it really, really works. Um, and again, I use this morning or evening. It totally depends on my mood. As far as lightness, I feel like this is a little bit more light underneath the eye area, but this still is, you know, very light. It's not heavy at all. It does have a little bit of a matte finish, so it's not going to give the under eye area a glow, uh, but those are my two favorites. I feel like I can't redeem any more points, so I would definitely purchase this little guy in full size just because recently I've been really digging the Origins Plant Scriptions line. I feel like their products are A+. Plus. For moisturizer, I do go back and forth between this Murad Perfecting Day Cream with an SPF of 30. She looks like that. And then the Anti-Aging and Acne Moisturizer with an SPF of 30. I use that one in the uh, spring and summer. And I use this little guy more throughout fall and winter. It is super lightweight and it absorbs super quick onto the skin. It doesn't interfere with, you know, my makeup application at all. And I use this every day. This stuff is jam-packed with antioxidants. So even after your SPF wears off, the antioxidants in this are they're still working to keep the skin protected from environmental damage. Now for a nighttime moisturizer, I have the Origins High Potency Nitamins. She looks like that apply this it's got a very dewy finish so this is what i would go in with during the night time this definitely does not break me out at all and this moisturizer is perfect for all skin types it helps to target dry skin and dull skin and when i wouldn't go in with a nighttime moisturizer i would go in with the uh, fresh black tea firming overnight mask she looks like that and this is supposed to firm the skin. Definitely used quite a bit of that. This is an absolute favorite. And I would use this to top everything off. 
um, on my nighttime skincare routine. I wouldn't apply a, a large amount of this. I would apply just as much as I would say a moisturizer. So definitely loved this. Like my skin the next day would definitely wake up firmer and plumper. Um, and I felt like all of the goodness that I just applied on my skin the, you know, the night before was definitely absorbed by this skin. For a mask, my favorite mask of 2016 was the Ole Henriksen um, Lemon Strip Flash Peel. She looks like that. And this exfoliates the skin, it visibly reduces wrinkles and pores size. This has a combination of acids in there that will help to retexturize and smooth the skin. And with this, when I was experiencing a little bit of dryness, I would definitely feel it tingle. On days where my skin was leaning more towards the normal side, I wouldn't feel anything at all. But once I washed this, say after 10 minutes um, of it being on my skin, my skin definitely feels smoother and it would look so luminous. I like to go in with exfoliating masks at night and usually I would go ahead and use Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser to really get rid of dull dead skin cells and then I would go in with the Ole Enriksen Lemon Flash Peel to really just make sure that all of the gunk is gone. Especially because I do wear a lot of makeup and I do work in front of a steamer so I just want to make sure that my skin is super duper clean and that it feels soft and that it looks firm. And now for what I think is my holy grail skincare product. It is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. She looks like this. I love this stuff. Um, it has retinol in there, blue tansy. This helps to diffuse fine lines and wrinkles, really soften the skin. I like to go in with this product um, at night, of course, and I usually um, use a dropper, a dropper kind of thing, and I do um, two drops here, one one drop here and then one drop here in the chin and that I kind of drag here around the neck and decollete area. This is pretty, pretty fast absorbing. It's supposed to reduce pore size, improve the appearance of damaged skin, and it also helps to fight wrinkles. And I can get away with using this just by itself or I can get away with applying, say, the Fresh Overnight Firming Mask. This is definitely something that is, is a treatment or I would consider a treatment just like the firming mask and I do think it's one of my favorites. It definitely adds on to like the luxury level of of your skincare routine. Another oil that I love by Sunday Riley is the Artemis Hydroactive Cellular Face Oil. And this has lemon bark and lemon myrtle. This is a complexion balancing blend of clarifying, toning, detoxifying oils for a clean, healthy glow from within. I like to use this when I'm breaking out as it does have um, CLA from pomegranate and omega-3s from flaxseed for a clean healthy glow from within and this clarifies and tones the skin. I did have like a pretty massive breakout during the holidays where I was breaking out like right over here and I use this I think for like three nights in a row and it definitely helped to clarify and reduce the inflammation from the breakout. The scent however in this is pretty strong. If you are sensitive to scents, I do not recommend this at all. You will be wasting your money and hating life. The scent in the Luna Sleeping Night Oil is very light. I mean, there is a scent there, but it's not like this scent. I've tried using this during the day, um, but it didn't really work out for me at all as um, it did allow my makeup to move and kind of shift around the face. Um, this is a little bit on the heavier side 
quite unlike the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. So I would definitely recommend this for nighttime use. And if you can, maybe avoid using a moisturizer since this is already, you know, heavy oil. And that does it for my 2016 skincare favorites. And I should mention that I do have normal skin. I do kind of, you know, tend to develop some oil here around the T-zone, but it's at normal levels, I would say. It's not to where I need to blot and holy cow, where's my blotting sheet? No. I have very normal skin. I do have hormonal or stress-related, I guess, makeup-induced breakouts, but I do have very, very normal skin. It is aging since I am in my 30s, so I do a lot of preventative care. I do try to avoid going to bed with dirty skin. If I am feeling lazy, I will remove my makeup with a wipe, although that is not what I recommend all the time. Um, I do like to feel my skin clean before I slip right into bed. Um, and I do like to moisturize. That does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about my favorite skincare products of 2016. Do let me know what your favorite skincare products for the year were down in the comments below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!